Hi, this is Craig and Celeste with Socata Grove, and today we're going to be talking about the raw sapote. Um, the raw sapote is, uh, used to be considered a variety or, or a sub-species of canistel. It's very closely related. They're both in the um, Puteria uh, genus. Uh, it's a little bit different shaped, as you can see. Most canistels are kind of like acorn-shaped or a little heart-shaped. Um, where the Rosses are a little squattier. I think the Rosses taste a little bit better than a Canistel, um, but we're going to go ahead and dig into it. They're very, very soft when they're ripe. We had one the other day. It was, it looked ripe, but it really was not super ripe. It's got a, it, to, the best description of it is it's pumpkin-y, but more not like not like yeah. raw pumpkin, like like pumpkin pie filling. Um, like now it just smells like canistel. Well, <laughs> like after you've eaten. It's a little bit of a pumpkin-y yeah. smell too. They have a couple of seeds in there and you'll see that they come out pretty clean. Yeah, this one's definitely riper. Um, it's so good. It is really, it's very, it's, it, it's not a juicy fruit. I mean, it, it's, it's not dry either, but it's, it looks a lot like pumpkin pie filling. Um, it's got a little bit of a caramelly type flavor to it. If you had a caramel pumpkin pie, mm. that's about what it would taste like. It's super good. There is a lot of latex in there and not that you would notice. You don't notice, you don't taste latex, you don't see latex. But after you eat this, you can feel it on your lips and teeth. Um, so if you're really sensitive to latex, it may be an issue. Celeste is fairly sensitive to latex, but it doesn't it bother, bother you. Me so it's really good, though. The texture is just good, and I like it better than a can of salt because I feel like the texture is the same throughout. There's no like dry, chalky areas. It's almost the texture of like a thick pudding, mm -hmm. and you can. I mean, you can see here, you just, really can, you just scrape this off and it just, it just comes out really, it's really good. But it's not too dry. It's a good one, too. It is. We had a couple of people asking, are you selling fruits? Are you shipping fruits? I'm like, no, like, we well, eat all these. The tree that we grew this off of, um, it, this is only the second year it's been fruiting and it doesn't fruit a lot yet. It's, But pretty soon we'll probably be getting a lot of these, but... Mm. So maybe in the future we'll sell the fruit. But I don't know. These are really good. I know. <laughs> we never gotten to the point where we were even freezing any of them because we eat them all as they come. But this, I mean, this is just like eating a cup of really good pumpkin pudding. But like so much better because it's like oh. it is that little hint of caramel and it's super sweet, really smooth texture. I could eat a lot of these. Me too. <laughs> So anyway, raw sapote, if, 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 if you've had canistel, you kind of know what about what it's like. But to me, it's just a half a notch better than the best canistel I've had. Me too. Even um, than a trompo. Trompo's probably yeah, my trompo's favorite. Yeah, trompo's a really canistel. good canistel. And I like, I could also eat a couple of trompos too, but this is just a little bit, a little bit more of a complex flavor to it, but, um, but very, very good. So definitely a fruit worth trying uh, if you can get your hands on one, which is not very easy to do. No. But, it's a gorgeous tree. Yeah, it's not hard to grow. Uh, the raccoons will uh, fight <laughs> you for it, but uh, that's good. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.